All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the uh, Freedom Office. Been a hell of a week with the real job, the one that pays the bills. And uh, I'm finally having a, a moment to sit back, relax. I want to give you guys a quick update of what's coming up in the near future. Uh, one of the things that I would like to mention is that on my website, KB32TAC.com, they've got some really cool deals from uh, the guys over there at Palmetto State Army. Right now, they have uh, 200 rounds of Tula plus the Toolcraft Phosphate MPI Full Auto BCG without logo. Guys, I gotta tell you something. Um, ammo prices are starting to come back down. Uh, parts and pieces are getting ready to start coming back down, which is real exciting for us as of right now. But uh, the nice thing is, is ammo is becoming more readily available. Uh, the market prices are starting to trend back to where they were before. It's gonna take them a little while longer, but they are coming down. Also, uh, there's a link on there to the guys over at uh, Callaway Ballistics. They've sponsored the channel, so I'd appreciate it if you give them a visit as well. Uh, free shipping with orders more than $200. All right, so now that we paid the bills, we can go ahead and get started. So I am getting ready to uh, do the Memorial 3 gun in October, and we've been uh, hustling trying to get in shape for that just so I can not be sore every day every minute after a uh a stage and i also don't want to be winded when you're uh hustling and then all of a sudden you got to shoot out the 500 600 yards so we're going to be doing a lot more practicing going to see me getting back into uh taking out the my uh, badass three gun rifle getting it all zeroed in and making sure it runs callaway ballistics is getting ready to start getting a run of the uh, 77 grain uh sierra match kings which ought to be really cool hopefully that's coming in the near future oh as well as this week, we're going to be testing out these guys right here. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor, and I think, I don't know if there's 140, 147 grain ELDs, but man, I'll tell you what, they sent me a photo of what they've been able to do with these guys out of a Ruger, or I think it was a Savage, not sure which one it was, but half MOA, not bad deal. So we're going to be shooting these out of Creedzilla, we're going to be shooting it out of the Justin Fitch rifle, and that's still on. I got to get that thing running right before we send it out. And we're going to take it and tackle a couple rounds with the MPA. We'll go ahead and chrono them out and maybe do a video on that. See how successful we are on those guys. Also, yeah, bolt guns, Remington 700. Look at this, man. Hoover Concepts, they're the ones that made the big-ass muzzle brake that's going to go on the Justin Fitch rifle. But they sent this trigger out. And if you guys know anything about Hoover Concepts, these are supposed to be some really, really precise and awesome triggers. So I can't wait to go ahead. I'm going to put this into the Remington 700. We're going to do a comparison with the uh, Trigger Tech uh, Diamond and see how they fare. For, and also a test before and after with an OEM out of a Remington 700 Tactical. Ooh, yeah. All right. Uh, we were going to go ahead and shoot open. I just don't see that happening. We're running out of time. Uh, my good friend Pops Quest was going to go ahead and lend me out his dissonant arms, uh, full auto. I mean, not full auto, but uh, amazing shotgun. Uh, but with open, you can use an optic on your shotgun as well as you got magazines that are this long. I mean, they're huge. And I was going to be able to shoot, uh, my SIG, uh, Legion with the dot on it. Well, we're not going to be able to do that this time, so we're going to resort to going back to the old drawing board with this guy right here. This is my Atlas Titan. This is one amazing pistol, uh, an absolute beautiful trigger pull, and a reset on it is incredible. And yeah, it's blinged out. <laughs> All right, so uh, the reason I was mentioning Palmetto State Army because we've got the Econ build, which is sitting right here, this guy right here. Um, I'm going to start putting different optics on these things and testing them out in the upcoming weeks. And I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with that guy. We're going to put this little booger on here, the MD25 or the SLX MD25. And this one has the ACSS reticle on it. you got to be able to put your optics on there because this one does not have an adjustable diopter. But I will tell you this right now, that is a great little reticle. And if you're able to shoot factory in a three gun competition, well, you can use this guy right here to, uh, you know, reach out and touch something at distance. It's a lot of fun. So that's what we've got going on this week. Uh, coming up, probably have to drive from uh, my hometown up to Pennsylvania on Sunday evening. So we have a full blown week there. But that being said, a uh, big shout out to the guys at Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, guys, thank you very much for uh, doing your patronage 
through the uh, website, kb32tech.com, because that's keeping the channel afloat and able, giving me the ability to continue doing this. Um, but that being said, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. And man, I just sit there and watch the most grinding video for 24 minutes of Joe Biden telling everybody that he doesn't understand why everybody disagrees with him and what's going on or even criticizes him. And if you got to sit back and ask yourself, why in the world is are people supporting this guy? It's kind of sick. With that being said, you guys be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom.